Standing outside the former Walton Library, which is Merseycare's most recent exciting project, uh, we're trying to develop the building as a centre for recovery and social inclusion, specifically for mental health service users and carers, to support them accessing life opportunities beyond illness and beyond the diagnosis that they may have received whilst under our care. In the first month, a lot of preparatory work took place, such as cabling for the new equipment to be installed in the library. The old library and the children's library sections were stripped out and they've now been prepared ready for new plasterboard to be fitted. Work has also started on the main reception area which has been stripped out. The children's library ceiling has been prepared and painted whilst the magnificent dome in the central area has had its first coat of paint and is starting to look magnificent again. We're developing this building as a centre for recovery and social inclusion because we understand that when people come into our services, they don't just require clinical support. The effects of mental ill health can have a devastating impact, not only on the individual, but on their families and all of their relationships. We understand that the people who come into our care need help and support in accessing better life opportunities. Support with the things that really make a difference to how they're going to live, housing, debt advice, benefits advice, um, job access to employment, all of the things that it will impact on how people can live well. We're particularly proud in this project that we can preserve such an old historic Carnegie building and we're taking meticulous attention to every detail. For instance, the old Edwardian cast iron radiators have been dismantled and they've been sent off to be refurbished. Walton Library is a truly historic building. It was built as part of the uh, legacy of Andrew Carnegie, famous philanthropist, who uh, provided funds to support libraries and reading rooms throughout many parts of the English-speaking world. Carnegie's vision was that buildings for learning ought to be beautiful spaces, places that inspired hope, that lifted people up. That's exactly what we're trying to do here in the Centre for Recovery and Social Inclusion. Beauty is an essential part of engendering hope, and without hope, recovery doesn't happen. Primarily the services that will be based in this building are geared towards people's recovery and social inclusion, so improving people's recovery journey and their opportunities for life beyond illness. So it will be home to our recovery college, there will be state-of-the-art learning facilities housed here. There will also be an employment and enterprise hub, helping people to hone their skills to access employment, um, advisors who will engage with employers, advice, specialist advice given to people seeking to start up their own businesses. Work will ensure we have a fully accessible building that complies with all legislation and make sure that the building is inclusive to all groups of people and ensures that it's preserved into the future. We're also delighted to be able to keep Walton Library at the service of the local community. It's a very much loved building and so we're very conscious that the local community can uh, have the opportunity to access IT services within the library as well as reading room and a measure of library provision with our partners in Liverpool City Council. We're delighted to be able to keep some measure of library access open to the local community. This is the first of our instalments about the Walton Library project and we hope that you found it informative. Please don't miss the next two instalments that are coming soon.